Today in chess, I wish to bring you something a little bit different. And what is that I hear you say? Well, here comes the answer. But I like to sort of drag it out a little bit, don't I? So in chess, one often has to look at something that is very hard to look at. And that is, of course, one's losses. Here, both my opponent and I are given three minutes from Lee Chess, and thank you very much, Lee Chess, and thank you to you too for tuning in and watching this video. I really, really appreciate you doing that. But anyway, in chess, uh, we often have to do something that's very hard to look at, is our losses. And also in chess, we have to look at something else. Also, our win, our winning games. Our winning games. I can't even say it because I'm not used to it. We have to also look at our winning games and to analyse them and to see where we went wrong. Imagine that. But here is a lost game that I played here about an hour ago on Lee Chess in their hourly Super Blitz Arena. So what do you think about it so far? My opponent is 22.05 and I'm 21.98. No, the other way around. Because I'm looking at it from Black's point of view this game. Because I'm white in this case. And guess what? I have a big surprise for you on move one that I played in this three minute um, game uh, on leechess.org. I have a bit of a um, surprise for you of move one. So without further ado, here it comes. So my rating is 2205 and my opponent is 2198. So let's have a look at this game, okay? Let's go. I'm having some technical difficulties. It's the hard thing about bringing a loss to anyone. Uh, it's very hard to look at my losses, especially the way I play. So here it goes. Wiganar's first move is, of course, E3 on move one. E4. What? You can't play E4, Dave. So, um, my opponent plays the uh, kind of modern setup. Alert! 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 Black wins a pawn with 94. <gasps> Ouch! And so what do I do, I have to sort of think about my, I have to think about what um, do I do here. Uh, I'm going to lose against this opponent of mine. I can show you um, what I think about this. I don't really want to lose. So, but I have to think about, um, I'm, I've just lost a pawn, a central pawn at that. And so this isn't very good. It's already no good. But wait, there's more. Come have a look with me soon. Uh, you'll find out that I have to try to think about as if I'm playing odds or as if I've given my opponent 13 moves as I've created that puzzle. Or not puzzle, but that sort of thing to do in chess. Da 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 da. Uh, I've, I've created that um, position where white starts off with 13 development developmental moves, I can't even hardly say it. And black has to start on move one, just play normally. From there on in, white, black, white, black, or black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. G3. This is a system that I um, enjoy from the the 80s, this um, line that was favoured by our Grand Master of Chess in New Zealand as well, um, as myself. Um, and this is... Um, probably out of book already wait for it I'm going to play I'm going to play the crab move soon I'm going to play the crab opening h4 I've got a crab I've got a crab opening if you if you're gonna lose you might as well go down in a screaming heap Um, oh dear, chess. So it's very hard to look at losses. So look at this. Black's got pawns that I like. 
um, that's got all these beautiful pawns in the center and they can play f5 and f4 b5 That's what um, Garrett Kaspar would go like that. Um, F6, maybe Queen C2, but it doesn't really matter. The way black plays just completely trouser legs me. I was not threatening. Here I'm not threatening. Uh, Bishop e4. Okay, I'm not sorry. I'm not threatening Bishop e4. It's just d4, or even Bishop e4, and no Rook e4 after Bishop e4. There's d4, and there's no Rook. Uh, there's a Rook in the way of the the diagonal here, if you get what I'm saying. So I'm not actually even threatening that. How silly! What a silly game. Horrible chess, isn't it? F3, um, hmm, E3, why not, excuse me, E2, why not, now comes Rook B3 soon isn't it, yeah, oh, why not, I've got the hiccups, <laughs> I always get the hiccups after coffee, uh, incidentally, um, coffee has now got good press, did have bad press the other day but now it's got good press now we're, now i'm at 31.1 seconds left and my opponent is at with their uh move just now 48.0 seconds hmm what do i do now bang the microphone why not here's king f2 huh. queen g4 but of course oh this is terrible so play the only move i think is rook g1 and uh, so black continues with their marauding attack with g5. Oh, bring your rook and why not? Because the next thing I'm going to have to face is the rook on f7 is all of a sudden going to be checking my king. Ah. So here I just had enough. So I threw in the kitchen towel and the and the sink as well, and I resigned. No, I didn't. I continued on. I thought, oh well, how worse can this get? This worse. Have a look at this position. Look, everything is tied up. Everything. I mean, everything. F3 looks really good to me for black. Queen E2. Ah, uh, excuse me, Queen E2. Did I play Queen E2? Did I really? Why not just Queen E2 checkmate? Did I play Queen E2 check to the Queen? With the Bishop on C4? Now we've got chess blindness. I played Queen E2. My opponent's got 32 seconds and didn't play Queen E2 checkmate. So with that, after F3, chess blindness. Look, I'll put my, I'll put my, I'll just say, chess blindness, obviously, chess blindness, obviously, chess blindness, obviously, chess blind. Get the point. Goodness sakes, chess blindness galore. I mean, I'm getting completely beaten. And so I've lost, so I should have really resign. I played Queen E8 check now. Now my opponent should really play um, 
King G7. My opponent's gone Satellite AWOL. AWOL. Queen F8, check. Queen F7, check. Queen G7, check. Not. No, I have simply Rook H1, check. And it's actually curtains. I can't really believe it. Queen H5, check. I just want to sort of like juggle the ball a bit. King G8. Queen E8. No Queen F8 now. King H7. And now the finale, okay? So, whatever's next, I resign. Rook H1. No, I lose on time. I'm going to lose on time. Look, I've got three seconds left. So this is what this whole loss is about. Look. Queen H6. Only move. Ouch! Uh, Rook H3 is also a move, but really. Queen H6. And the puzzle of the day is... Queen F3 checkmate! happened there i don't know madness i didn't even see queen takes bishop takes queen takes bishop takes e2 checkmate queen takes e2 checkmate